Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors, and it's been a long time since we've had our Zero Explorer drone out, so I thought I would uh, show off my backpack for this to you guys to suggest maybe you pick it up for your Zero because it's pretty sweet. And uh, a lot of you guys have been asking us to do follow ups on some of the more expensive vehicles that we do, so that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. Just show you that, yeah, our Zero still works, yeah, we still fly it. And uh, yeah, we still stand by all the first videos that we made about the Zero drone. So let's take a look in the backpack, show you how cool this thing is. It's a hard, hard case. You could knock this down probably off the roof of a building and it'd be just fine. It's got these footies on the bottom. So when you turn it over, uh, that becomes the lid. Now the back part here of the backpack is padded. So it feels really good on your back and uh, it doesn't dig into you or anything. So let's lay it down, open that up. And then our transmitter with the range extender fits in there all in one piece. We've got extra batteries. It's got a spot for four extras and you can put a battery on it while it's in there. So really it can hold five. The camera and gimbal setup stays on there while it's in the backpack. So you don't have to remove that stuff. The only thing you have to remove are your props. And one of the beautiful things about this quadcopter, which by the way, your charger will fit in the backpack as well. I just didn't bring it out today. The best, one of the best things about the design of this, that uh, they were on their A game when they designed it. Of course, others are doing the same thing now too. You just line the black prop up with the black motor and uh, spin it down on, and they're self-tightening. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. They're self-tightening. So when the motors are spinning, you don't have to worry about those flying off because they are, uh, the direction that the motor spins is the direction that it needs to go to tighten the uh, prop so it's not going to just fly off like some of those out there that we have seen do. We're going to pop our gimbal saver off and just throw that in the backpack. And a little tip here, since the last time we've flown there was a firmware update and we noticed the app updated just a few days ago. To do that remember you just plug into the little USB right here and it takes five minutes or less to do oh, the yeah, firmware Oh yeah it was update. so easy. All you had to do was download the Zero <clears throat> Assistant app and then you just plugged it in. It was amazing. Yes, and uh, we want to throw a tip out there. Some people don't realize this, but a lot of quads don't have to. You don't have, we've flown this probably 50 times in a row uh, and haven't done the compass calibration, but you really should do the compass calibration for this anytime you travel any, any other new flight place. Just do the quick compass calibration before you take off. Just better safe than sorry. So we're gonna do that and remind you guys how to do that in this video. And then we'll take off and get a little fun footage of this beautiful fall day out here at our airfield. All right, let's get everything booted up and uh, let's do the trans. You always do your transmitter on first, always. And then we're gonna hold this until it comes on. And while we wait for that, I'll show you guys the beautiful little, it just looks good. It's really cool looking backpack. I like that thing a lot. It's bright, so it's hard to see the lights, but we're gonna do a compass calibration anyway. Uh, in order to do that, we have to hold the throttle down and press the IOC button or the headless mode three cycles or six total times. The lights on your quad should be solid green and they are. So now I pick it up and I rotate it about two full times. Okay. The lights are still solid green on this one. Yep. And then after your about second time points. around, they should start blinking and they are. Now I go face down and wait for a solid yellow, and they are. They're solid so now yellow. I go, I, it works better for me to go counterclockwise. So now I'm going counterclockwise, and usually it takes about a turn and a half. You want your lights to say solid. Solid yellow. Time. Now they're blinking. I'll go one more time, because they're still yellow. Yeah, they need to stay solid. There they go, solid green. Now they're, now they're blinking. Okay. I set the guy down. And then the light should return back to green, blinking green. They are, they are. So let's, we're good to take off. All right, so I think we're just gonna fly now. Yeah. And uh, hook you all up with some FPV footage. Yes. And some music and see you guys later, right? Right, let's, we'll show them the takeoff here. All right. Start filming. And I think I'm gonna fly most of it, right? Yes, I believe so. So let's do a takeoff. Want them to show, show them that it really is. Beautiful. 